What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we're going to be working on replacing the headlights on this Ford. I like the amber look and I'm still going to keep them with the truck. So if anybody wants to keep them when you win the truck, they will be in a box in the backseat of the truck. If you want to keep them and put them back in yourself, that is totally up to you. However, we didn't get many requests for modifications for this truck, but one of the few things that we did get were requests for LED lighting and clear lighting on the whole truck. We're going to do it because that's what the people wanted. They didn't ask for many things on this, so you know, it's, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty simple, pretty classic, pretty left alone, but we are going to be changing out the lights with clear lighting. And let me show you what we ended up going with here. Of course, when you get clear lighting, it's pretty much, you know, simple. It's just clear lighting. The main headlight, corner light, your lower pieces here, all clear chrome. And I thought, hey, it might go nice with the grill and the wheels and the mirror caps. I mean, if it's gonna have a little bit of chrome on it as it is, these people might be onto something. That uh, that amber delete might actually look pretty good. So let's get to swapping out these headlights. We gotta start by removing the grill. Well, I can testify to these being probably the worst headlights on the planet to remove. Maybe not actually on the planet, but they're, they're up there for truck. So there's actually these two screws on the back of that bezel and mark that amber light like assembly there. There's one that goes through right here. You have to like stick a wrench down in there, a socket wrench, and get your hands under the battery tray to be able to turn the wrench. And, and it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, it's really bad. And then there's another one right behind here as well and they're just really hard to freaking get to but we got it off and uh, we're ready for the next step to reuse that chrome bezel you're gonna have to remove those two pieces off that chrome bezel to put those obviously on your new one but other than that that part should be pretty easy i didn't get a lot of time lapse of taking these headlights out because it absolutely sucked and i had to shed some layers and i'm not so sure that's the type of show you guys came here to watch so i spared you you're welcome we're gonna get to installing the new clear headlights now that i know how they come out hopefully i can do it installing them without doing a bunch of stops and stuff. So we have to remove the lights here from the chrome bezel, which is, I believe these two, uh, looks like 10 millimeter bolts here. Small screw there, small screw, small screw. And that should be it to get this stuff out and then reinstall our clear stuff. <laughs> Like I said, I'm gonna keep this stuff in good shape and save it with the truck. And then with the bottom portion of the light screws. Well guys, now we're gonna get to putting our LED bulbs in the actual housings here. It comes with a pair of gloves for installation. Look how freaking tiny these things are. Here's the LEDs that we went with. They look like this. This spot should rotate off like that. Just twist it and it slides off. Before you actually put your LED bulb back into this insert that actually helps line it up, what you need to do is you need to take this out here. You run your LED bulb through it. So I'm gonna get these installed on both the headlights and we're just gonna get to putting them in the truck. It's simple, just look for the grooves, line stuff up and clip it in, it's that easy. Okay, so we got the bulb installed. It took about two minutes uh, being able to sit down and actually line it up and just pop it in, twist it, and it locked it in place. Ele you done yet? It's locked in place, let's get to installing it on the driver's side. Who says we kill the rooster? <laughs> Chicken dinner doesn't sound too bad tonight. Things. I don't know what the actual name of them is, but they're round, they're one ways. You pop them in and they don't pop back out. Um, pretty self-explanatory to this lineup with the three holes, just pop it in. And then the next step I'm gonna show you, it's a little bit tricky, you've got these little metal clips if it'll focus these weird little clips. Ford makes their headlights such a pain in the butt to install, but essentially, you're gonna line these up and these are gonna slide down right there and clip down over. But if you've taken them out, you know how to put them back on at this point. But that's where they go.
got the headlights in finally, and I want to touch on a couple of things here real quick. These headlights were a pain in the butt to install. It, it just must be the way that Ford designed these headlights to be installed and to hold them in place. A lot of little metal clips and little screws that you have to take part of the fender wells off to get to on the back side to get under the battery racks, and just very frustrating, but it did work. And uh, of course, this looks kind of charcoal grayish on this side because it's reflecting off the color of that truck. But they're just clear lens, chrome housing, white LED light for that main light there. It does still have the amber turning signal slash daytime light on the sides on the top corner. Everything worked out in the end though. They're nice and snug. Nothing's gonna like fall out. Everything's real tight. Yeah, it was frustrating figuring out how to get those things out. I ended up having to look up a video on how to get them out. It was so bad. And one more thing to note, there's actually two screws on these headlights on the factory ones and the aftermarket ones. There should be at least right up in there. I don't know if you can see them tucked up in there. Anyways, before you put this bezel on and this is actually mounted on there, just the one main headlight itself, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver and you know, thread it in more or loosen it out and it'll change the angle of the headlights. I did mine to where they sat flush with the corner headlight, the top here in the bottom, and they sat nice and flat with them. The way they had them set up when I bought them is they were aiming up real, real sharp. It just didn't look good. It looked all uneven and jaggedy, but I got them all nice and leveled out. They look really, really good. We do have more stuff coming for the cab lights and the tail lights to match everything, so stay tuned for that. That's all I've got for you guys today. Lots of stuff coming up. Winter picking up this truck here this weekend and getting his cash. Uh, this giveaway does end in uh, 19 days. I think it's 18 or 19 days, and I believe this is your last day for 10X entries towards winning this truck, plus the $5,000 cash for this thing. I mean, guys, it's a freaking mint condition, F250, 7.3. Thing is freaking awesome. If you want to get in on this, it's this easy. Go to lmpgear.com. You can buy anything you like on the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. And once these 10X entries end, it is going to be dropping back down. So you guys know the drill. Head on over there, grab some stuff. And don't waste any time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for all the love and support. You guys are the best. And oh yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet and leave a like and comment down below because those likes and comments really help with ranking these videos so other people can find them. So if you enjoy them, leave a like and a comment. That way somebody else can enjoy them as well. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.